Good morning, everyone. My name is Yara Marin, and I am here with a nonprofit advocacy organization, Vote Solar, and I am also an SRP customer. As you know, we recently learned about SRP's nearly $1 billion proposal to expand a gas-fired power plant right here in the very place that we all call home. The news camp comes as a surprise for multiple reasons. SRP did not allow clean local resources to compete for the project. SRP customers like you and I will become responsible for paying this polluting gas plant expansion that will not only impact our monthly bill, but also pollute the air that we breathe every single day. There are better alternatives. For example, solar paired with storage is a renewable resource a renewable source of energy that can not only save us all money, but also make the system more flexible and resilient. Something we desperately need as the heat waves and storms threaten the reliability of the grid and the ability to keep our lights on. Solar energy uses far less water than gas plants do. It is imperative that SRP consider the full cost of their fossil expansion project. In the wake of the new water restrictions and the very real and ongoing climate crisis, and drought, it doesn't make sense to invest in generation sources that exacerbate our ongoing water crisis and shortages. SRP's board should stop this expansion and invest in clean energy instead. They need to use this as an opportunity to replace dirty fossil fuels, create local jobs, and reduce harmful emissions. Arizona is a bright, sunny state. We need to take advantage of the abundance of affordable, renewable energy sources like our sunshine. Solar is the critical piece in transitioning to an equitable, clean energy future. It's affordable, healthy, great for our economy, and a tool for justice. We need to stop looking backwards. It's time to invest in resources that build a brighter, more resilient future for our children and grandchildren. At their September 13th meeting, SRP must stop this proposed gas plant expansion and instead pursue local clean energy solutions because this is a climate crisis. Thank you and please welcome our next speaker, Reverend Doug Land.